good morning. We're back at exercise three. So let's dive in and identify adverbs. Let's go over everything. And you know, if uh, this gets too laborious, you can just fast forward and get to the screen that you can check your work if you don't need all of this. All right, number, so number one at five is a prepositional phrase. Um, and before six is a prepositional phrase. Um, pig is a noun. Let's say five, six are nouns because they're the objects of the preposition. Home is a noun and turnips is an oops. Our adjectives, we go to the, the noun and look to the left, the and little, modify pig. Um, the turnips, the is an article, it modifies the noun. So it's an adjective. Okay, that's all the adjectives. Pronoun, see if there's no pronouns that I see. No. Verbs, okay, the pig got, that is the action. Uh-oh. Um, gathered is an action. You can always tell verbs because they often, often end in ed. And was is a linking verb, so you need to underline the linking verb. Okay, let's find any conjunctions. And is a coordinating conjunction. Oops, let's see. Um, here's another coordinating conjunction and is the most common, I believe. Um, and then adverbs. Well, the word well is always an adverb, so we're going to put it, highlight that. Up tells where. Nervously comes before the verb, ends in ly, and describes how he gathered. Again tells when, so that is an adverb. So this sentence, we have one, two, three, four adverbs. All right, number two, when the wolf sheepishly came, he said, little pig, are you ready? So let's find the prepositional phrases. I don't see any. Uh, nouns, so wolf is the noun, and pig. And adjectives, the is the article modifying the wolf. Little is an adjective modifying pig. Um, pronouns, we have you, personal pronoun, second person, he, third person. Okay, verbs, came, said, and are. All right, let's see, uh, we have to find conjunctions. When is a subordinated conjunction. So we'll highlight that in green. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, highlight that in green. And now we look for adverbs. So sheepishly modifies, it, it ends in L-Y, comes before the verb, good, good indication. And so that is an adverb, tells how. Um, and ready. Okay, this one is kind of tricky. Uh, what does ready tell? Well, what ready tells is it's an, this is an adjective and it's modifying the pronoun you. And this is a little bit in-depth grammar for you. We'll talk about it in the next book, but just know that is an adjective. This, however, ready is an interjection. Um, because it's got the exclamation mark. And we're going to learn that in the next unit. Okay, let's go to number three and look for some um, prepositional phrases. For dinner is a prepositional phrase. Um, look for nouns. Okay, we have pig. And pot. 
and dinner. Adjectives, the and little modified pig, and a nice modifies pot and so does full. That modifies pot. Okay. The next one are pronouns. I is a first person personal pronoun. And that is all. Verbs. Said is an action verb. Have is an action verb. Been. Oh, have is a helping verb. I'm sorry. Been is a helping verb. Come is an action verb. And got is an, is an action verb. Okay. Conjunctions. I know and is a conjunction. And is another conjunction. We're repeating. All right. Let's see. What we have now ready is an interjection. I'm going to leave that alone because we'll do that next next lesson. Um, all right, here we have a word already. It comes in between our, our helping verbs. That's a really good indication that's going to be an adverb. It tells when. So this already is an action, is an adverb. Um, back tells where. So that is an adverb in this sentence. Again, tells when, so that is an adverb. All right, number four. So let's identify our prepositional phrases. We have at this is a prepositional phrase. And this is a demonstrative pronoun. Um, to the little pig is a prepositional phrase. Okay. All right, we're going to go here and underline our nouns. Wolf. And pig. And pig. And tree. Next one, let's find the adjectives. So here we have the modifies wolf. It's an article and an adjective. Um, here we have pig and the and little, both are adjectives modifying pig. Here we have little modifying pig and tree. Here we have three, a, the word a is an article, nice and apple both modify tree. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, the word angry is an adjective and it's modifying wolf. And we'll learn about, that's called a predicate adjective, and we'll learn about those in the next book. And nice is another predicate adjective and it's modifying he, which is an antecedent of the wolf. Okay. Um, let's identify our pronouns. Uh, here we have that. That is a relative pronoun. And that begins a subordinate clause. He is a personal pronoun. Other is an indefinite pronoun. He is a personal pronoun. I is a personal pronoun. All right, let's identify our verbs. The wolf felt is an action verb. Thought is an action verb. Would be, those, that's a helping and linking verb. Said is an action verb. No is an action verb. Is is a linking verb. Okay, let's find conjunctions. But is a coordinating conjunction.
and where is a subordinating conjunction? Okay, let's see if we can find any adverbs. So the first one we come to is very, and we know very is always an adverb. So we're gonna highlight that as an adverb. All right, here we have the word quickly. And notice that it comes before the verb, it ends in ly, and it tells how or when. Or, yeah, so that one is an adverb. Um, here's the word almost. And it tells to what extent the little pig, that he would be nice. It's modifying an adjective here, but it is an adverb. The word almost is an adverb. And I missed this or, that is a conjunction, guys. I'm sorry, I missed that. Somehow is an adverb. Because it tells to what extent. And... There is an adverb because it tells where. Isn't it interesting that the word there is an adverb, but the word where, there is an adverb telling where, but the word where is a conjunction. Crazy English. All right, no, the next one. Um, let's just go through here. Where, this one, I would say where tells is an adverb. Hastily is an adverb. Asked is the um, verb. The is an adjective. And pig is a noun. It's so interesting in English how sometimes things, the same word, are, are two different parts of speech depending upon how they're used. So um, just we just have to figure it out. And that's why I have you go over this and over this and over this, because you've got to figure out how things are used and it'll help you whenever you're writing. And I hope this isn't too laborious. All right, let's go and find the prepositional phrases. At Mary Garden is a prepositional phrase. Uh, for you is a prepositional phrase. At five o'clock is a prepositional phrase. Okay, let's find um, our nouns. Garden is a noun. Wolf is a noun. Apples is a noun. Now let's find our pronouns. You is a pronoun. I is a pronoun. Here's another you. Sometimes things are always, 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 like you is always a pronoun, whereas where can be an adverb or a conjunction. Uh, we is a pronoun. Okay. So an if, I'm sorry, here, if is a subordinating conjunction. Uh, I call it a pronoun. It is a subordinating conjunction. All right, we'll get there in a minute. The next one, I believe we're supposed to do verbs. And I might have missed something. So let's do... Um, Okay, replied is an action verb. Will is an act is a helping verb. And deceive is an action verb. And here I missed another pronoun. I don't know why I cannot see those. Will is a helping verb. Come is an action verb. Will is an is a linking a helping verb. Go is an action verb, and get is an action verb. And some is a pronoun, an indefinite pronoun. Or we could call it an adjective too, because it's modifying apples. It tells how many, I think, but 
we'll, we'll, we'll call it an adjective. It, it acts more like an adjective in this sentence. All right, let's see if we can find any adjectives. So Mary modifies the garden. Um, five modifies the clock. So let's do conjunctions. Here we have if, that is a subordinating conjunction. And is a coordinating conjunction and another coordinating conjunction. Okay. And the next are adverbs. So here we have down and it tells where. So it's an adverb. Here's the word the, which is an adjective modifying the word wolf. Kindheartedly tells how the wolf replied. And it's, he, we could say down at Mary Gardens, uh, replied the wolf kindheartedly. It just tells how the wolf replied. So we're gonna call that an adverb. Not is always an adverb. Eventually tells when it ends in ly, it comes before the verb. It's an adverb. Um, tomorrow, misspelled with a hyphen. This I, I copied this um, all of this from the public domain, and things were not done correctly. Tomorrow tells when, so it is an adverb. Um, how, when, where, how, let's see, which one, what kind, how many, we will go how, we will go together, tell us how, and there we have it. Okay, number seven, let's find our prepositional phrases. All right, here we have an infinitive phrase. So let's underline get, right, before the wolf. Oh, that's not a prepositional phrase because we have a subject and a verb. Uh, to go is an infinitive. So we have go is a verb. And this really should and had to climb, okay to climb, actually the whole thing is the infinitive phrase. So climb is a verb and up the tree is a prepositional phrase inside the infinitive phrase. From it is a prepositional phrase. Okay, now we found our prepositional phrases. Let's identify our nouns. So we have pig, We're going to say for morning apples wolf tree and wolf. Got all the nouns. Adjectives the and little modify pig. So nothing in front of four, the and next, modify morning. The modifies apples. The modifies the wolf. The modifies tree. And the modifies wolf. Um, and the word coming here modifies wolf too. That's what we call a participial. Participle. Participial. Okay, next one is uh, pronouns. Let's see if I can find pronouns. 
he is a personal pronoun. He, it, and he. How about conjunctions? We have and. Before is a subordinated conjunction here. Here's and is a coordinating conjunction. As is a subordinating conjunction. Okay. Let's identify our verbs. Woke is an action verb. The little pig did. He bustled is an action verb. He went is an action verb. Um, actually hoping here. This is an adjective. Just take my word for it and I'll explain it in, in the future. It's, it looks like a verb, but it's acting as an adjective. We can we can call it a verb too if you want, because it is a verb. It's just not acting like a verb. Um, came is an action verb. Had is a helping verb. Was coming. and saw. Okay, now let's see if we can identify um, our adverbs now. So we know the word well, 99% of the time is going to be an adverb. Startingly, it ends in L-Y, it comes after the verb, it tells how the pig woke, so it is an adverb. Quickly, comes before the verb, and it tells how the wolf bustled, so it is an adverb. Up tells where, and off tells where, so those are adverbs. Um, back tells where, that is an adverb, and it comes around the verb. I mean, when you find words around the verb, they're often going to be adverbs. He had farther, that tells where to go. Hastily tells how he had to climb, so that is an adverb, ends in L-Y. Um, just as is actually, um, let me see, the word just here is an adverb. Um, down tells where, and that's all. All right, let's go to number eight. All right, here we have before me as a prepositional phrase. We have wolf, pig, and apples are our nouns. The is an adjective. Little is an adjective. And Nice is an adjective. Pronouns. Um, he is a pronoun. You is a pronoun. Me is a pronoun. And they is a pronoun. Um, verbs came is an action verb, said is an action verb. R is a linking verb. And R is a linking verb. All right, what do we have left? Oh, conjunctions. When is a subordinating conjunction. Okay, uh, what I think here is an interrogative pronoun that I didn't get. Okay, 
Um, now let's see what we have. The word sleepily. Look where it's located. It comes before the verb. It ends in ly and it tells how, so that is an adverb. Um, here tells where, so that is an adverb. Before is a preposition, and that's all. Okay, let's keep going. And remember, if you get stuck, then find what you know. So always, always go and do what you know, and you should be always able to find conjunctions, pro pronouns, and prepositions because those are on a list. Um, so let's see, we did our prepositions, and the next let's do nouns. Nouns should be pretty easy to identify, and you just got to break it down just like this each time. And I think the one one here is, is going to be a noun. Okay, let's find our pronouns. I is a pronoun. And you is a pronoun. You know what? One is a pronoun. Duh. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm tired today. Okay. Um, let's find our verbs. Said is an action verb. Will is a linking or helping verb. And throw is an action verb. Okay. Oh, we didn't do our, ad our adjectives. The and little modify pig. Well, I'm having a difficult time today. Okay. And that's all. Okay, now let's see. I think we do we have any conjunc um yeah, any conjunctions? No conjunctions. All right, now let's go and see if we can find any adverbs. So here we have two. The word yes and very are both adverbs. Okay. Immediately, we have ly in between the verbs. That is definitely an adverb. And down tells where. That is an adverb. All right, number 10. Um, here we have to pick it up. That is an infinitive phrase. So let's uh, highlight pick as a verb, action verb. I don't see any prepositional phrases. Okay, let's find our noun. Wolf is a noun. Pig is a noun. And home is a noun. Let's find our adjectives. The modifies wolf. Uh, little modifies pig, and nothing modifies home, okay? Um, pronouns. He is a personal pronoun. It is a personal pronoun. That is a relative pronoun. Um, here's it is a pronoun. Pronoun. Okay, how about conjunctions? So is a conjunction. Nope, so is not a conjunction there. While is a conjunction. All right, let's find our verbs. Through is an action verb. Was is an Jumped. Down. Um, and here's another predicate adjective. Gone modifies the wolf. Uh, 
and here's the modifieds. The little, okay, conjunction and All right, so the, here the word so modifies far. So far has to be an adjective. Nope, far cannot be an adjective. It is. It tells where. So both of these are adverbs. And intently, is an adverb because it's got all the signs of an adverb. It ends in L-Y, it comes by the verb and it tells how. Gracefully tells how, comes before the verb, ends in L-Y, and ran is an action verb. I don't know how I missed that. Now, did we get it all? Okay, this one has 40 adverbs. Um, so put the number you have correct over 40 and you'll have your grade.